perfect. Hey guys and gals and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, so happy, so happy. It is my first official Halloween video. For the theme of this Halloween season on my channel, I'm gonna be calling these videos Pretty Poisonous. And the idea behind it is, I'm not just gonna be showing you one look. Well, I am, I technically am. So in today, I am the devil, but I'm showing you a pretty version of that. And then poisonous is when something becomes rotted. So then I'm gonna show you the gory, rotten version of the devil. Now the idea behind it is we are all a little different. We have those people who wanna be super girly, super glam, super fabulous for Halloween. And then we have people who love really gory and gross makeup. I used to be the girly one. I was like, oh, Halloween, I can dress up as like, since a bloody rella or somebody like that like that was me to a T now I like a little bit of gore not too much like non crazy so I want to look nice and glam but like a little splash of blood in there so I'm gonna be giving you two alternatives for every look that I do this Halloween season and in today's video and you guys say from what I said before gave it away plus the title I am gonna be showing you guys the devil so if you want to see my pretty and my poisonous version of the devil for this Halloween Please go ahead and just keep on watching. To use my P. Louise base, the one I use is in the shade Rumor 0.5, and I'm just gonna put this on my lids before I go in with that shadow. I don't need to show you how I do this, so I will just forward to the eyeshadow. So I'm actually gonna take my Coca Cola Times Morphe palette, and the shades I'm gonna be using are the two reds in this palette. They're really, really gorgeous. We have this deeper one here and the lighter shade. So I think I'm gonna run the deeper one through my crease because we're gonna be going for a bit of a cut crease here. And then we'll smoke it out, see how it looks, and we may go in and add some of this to smoke it out a little. Just gonna go in with the brush, um, it's obviously a lot bigger than the one we just used with no product on. I'm just gonna blend the edges. So I feel that that colour has come off a little bit too pink. So that was actually the deeper red, so I'm gonna take the lighter red. And I'm also gonna build this through the crease and see if it makes a difference to the color. Oh yeah, much more red immediately. And the exact same step with that blending brush just to blend that out. Okay, so. I've blended that out and honestly, I'm quite happy with that for now. We shall see how it looks when everything else is done and if I need to amend things, I will. It is a little bit more pink than what I would have liked, but I mean, it is what it is. I don't mind too much. I'm gonna cut the crease, so I am gonna take my P. Louise base again and just start to, like I just said, cut the crease. Just gonna take the lighter shades in this palette here and I'm just gonna set my lid with that. I'm gonna be using a liquid lip to do my liner. I don't mind using liquid lip eyeliner, it works really well. This one is my Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lip in the shade Cinnamon Bear. This was from the Holiday Collection, but you can use any red that you like. Perfect. 
I have pulled that right out to where my shadow ends, but you'll see I've left a little gap. That's just because we're gonna fill that with glitter shortly. Um, I'm gonna take my collection Glam Crystals Dazzling Gel Liner. This is the gold one, it's in the shade Funk. And I'm just gonna follow the shape of my crease. I always start in the middle and honestly, I don't know why. Just for a tiny bit more dazzle as well, just to tie in with the glitter through the crease, I'm gonna take the red glitter from this palette and I'm just gonna stamp the on the very center of my liner. And then just pat the edges so it blends out. I'm gonna go off camera and I'm gonna apply my Tarte Mani to Mascara and I'm also gonna apply the Eyelore Vegas Nay Absolute Allure Eyelashes. I think that's what they're called. So I'm gonna not film this bit, we don't need to see it, but I will come back and show you how it looks. Leave the link in the description box below if you wanna see how I do my foundation routine. So I'm gonna take my NARS lip liner in the shade Spunk Charming Anus. And I'm actually not gonna line my lips with this, I'm gonna line my waterline. Now I'm gonna go in to my under eye. So I'm gonna take the lightest red, which is this one here, and apply this as close as possible to my lash line. And then I'm gonna just blend it out, to be honest. That's the only shade I'm gonna go in with. I've already changed my mind, I want something a little bit deeper, close to the lash line, just to merge. So I'm going to go in with this shade here because it seems a similar colour to the liner and I'm going to just put this as close to my lash line as possible. I can't believe I forgot to do this because this is so important. My Benefit Cookie Highlighter, oh my goodness, I need this on my inner corner now. Okay, so for lip liner, I'm going to use this one by Little Mix. It doesn't seem to have a shade name from what I can say. It's just like a nude colour. But yeah, I should be going in with the red lip liner right now. But I can't find one, so what I do, I'll use this put the red lipstick on and then I'll go back over with the lip liner and it'll just shape it out. And then we're going to take that same lipstick that we used earlier to do our eyeliner, the Cinnamon Bear from Too Faced and lather our lips in this. Gonna take a bit of mascara, same one, on my lower lashes. Now that is everything for this pretty devil inspired makeup look. If you have a devil headband, this is the point where you'll put that in and you will get all dressed up then outfit wise. I thought I had one and I didn't, so I have put my horns in my hair and I just looped my hair around them to hide the little bloody bits that come with it but yeah this is my glam devil inspired makeup look so you can just stop here if you're someone who likes a really pretty really glam look this is enough for you however for my guys and gals who like a bit more gold than this want some blood splash into their halloween makeup then just keep watching and i will show you how to turn this glam devil inspired makeup look into something a little bit more gory so the main thing i'm going to be using to make this look pop in as the devil are these horns right here 
I purchased these from Smithies, I believe they're around the £5 mark, if that. So what you want to do, you want to place them and see where it is you want the horns to be. I'm going to go with right here, right above my eyebrows. I'm going to be using liquid latex, this is clear liquid latex, this is by Krylon. I picked this up for £11 and pence. You can get really cheap alternatives on eBay. This is 250ml. I've had bigger bottles from eBay for much cheaper. I just didn't know how long they'd take to get here, so I went and picked it up in the store. And to apply my liquid latex, I always, always, always use a sponge. This is just a normal sponge. I probably picked this up somewhere, like a fancy dress shop, really cheap. And I've just cut it in half. Now, instead of just fully like latex in my head, I'm actually gonna liquid latex the corners here. And I'm just applying it to the underneath of my devil horns. First horn done. I'm just gonna place it, like I said, just above my brow. And you just wanna press down on all of the corners. Now what you're going to want to do is take some tissue paper and you want to rip it into strips. These do not have to be neat, you can see mine have pulled up all over the place. To be honest, the worse they are probably the better. Obviously the horns like this is really poor quality. So this is why we're using the tissue paper because we really want it to look like these are coming out of our head. So in order to do that, we can't just stick something on. We need our skin to be flapping open. I'm gonna take some more latex. And now I'm gonna start to apply it. Around my devil horns. Take a strip of tissue. You can crumple it, do whatever you want. And just Stick it down. Because of our brows, I'm actually going to take a brush just to make sure I don't get any in the brow. I just don't want to rip any of my own hairs out when I am pulling this off. And remember, if this goes on messy, it doesn't matter. The messier, the better. Okay, so more all around this side. Using the brush is actually probably a little bit easier. Because you've got a bit more control. Don't be afraid either to put latex over the tissue paper. So the way these two aren't sticking together, just lash latex over them. And then I start to lift it with the brush, just because remember this is gonna be the illusion of our skin. So we want it to look like our skin is coming apart. Don't be afraid to rip some either, like bear in mind, this is going to be ripping through your skin, so go in and shred some of it. Like that. So we've got this on both sides. So remember our tissue paper is our skin, it's going to be our flesh. So we just want to, you want to pinch it, you want to pull it, and you want it to be standing out, like flicking off. You just want it risen. Now, a super important step is you actually want the tissue to look like skin. So I've taken the foundation that I have got on. I'm gonna take a smaller brush and we wanna color that tissue paper now the same color as our skin. just want to make sure all of the toilet roll is covered with the foundation so you can see it's already looking more like skin now that we've got it looking the same color it's done the other side but I just want to say you also want to remember to go in the grooves so don't just go over it you also want to go around it to make sure that it is blended in with your actual skin you don't want to see any white toilet paper seeping through the underneath or anything like that 
so there we are we officially have the texture like the horns are actually coming out of our head now we need to create some depth to it because we have lost all of what they put in there we can see a ring of the red but that just that does not cut it for me so this is my Moran bruise wheel and honestly guys I swear by this thing so to start off I'm gonna take this color here this is like a burgundy shade this is not the deepest color we're gonna use I am gonna dip into the black in a moment but I just want to get a base down with this burgundy so what we want to do is we want to put this color inside the tissue paper where the horns are so the tissue paper is the outside the horns are the inside and we want this right in the middle okay so you can see this one looks like a bigger womb already because we have the color in it so we have got that colour all over. Now when it comes to the special effects and making things look bloody and gory, it is a similar process to contouring the face. So remember, we put the darker shade down to contour and add depth. We had our blusher on top of that, that is the medium shade. And then we had our highlighter which is the lighter shade. I want you to think of this as contour blush and highlight. The shades we just put down that's the blush that's given us the pop of color the next shade we're going to put down is this black shade here this is going to be the contour this is going to add all the depth and make this look really nice and deep and then in a little bit we're going to add the highlight which will be the red and this will go to the outer side just to add a splash so to add the dark color i'm taking a paintbrush a really thin one actually just because we want to get this close to the horn again if it goes on the actual horn don't be worrying and then i'm also going to take it and i'm going to run it around the tissue paper edge just to make this cut look even deeper than what it is and with that shade we used before, again, the burgundy kind of shade, we're just going to pat that on top of where we've applied the black, just to make sure everything's blended and it doesn't look like a mix match of colours. And you can start to pull this onto the horns as well, just little splashes of it, because we are going to add blood to the horn, so this will add a little bit of dimension to the blood. So I'm going to drag this up the horns, not all the way up, just like this. And then with the black shade, I'm going to splatter some up the very beginning of the horns, just to make it look like it's literally coming right out. Then you want to take another brush and we are going to want to dip into this light red shade right here and with this we just want to add irritation so i am going to go on the edge of where the skin is peeling back and this is gonna make the skin have that irritated look to it which it would obviously if your head was getting ripped to shreds while horns were rising from it so we've added the irritation around i'm gonna just zoom you in quickly because one thing i want to say is i quite like to use my finger to smudge some of the irritation out just because it would never be blocky it would be more like a rash so I'm just going to use my finger and smooth it around. I'm actually going to take this brush with the deeper burgundy kind of a colour on it. And I'm going to add some patches of that as irritation too. And again, just use your finger. Get that all blended. And with the light reds as well, you can add some of that to the horns too. Because we've already got the other two shades. So creating like a gradient because again we're going to splatter blood on these 
because what you've got to bear in mind is these horns have popped out of our head meaning they have gone through all of our bloods and with my finger I'm just gonna pull it upwards okay so this for me is the best part this is where this look really comes to life so we've got the depth we've got the dimension now we need the blood so this is the Moran stage blood it's a syrup based blood I love this uh, this is one of my favorites it's not too runny it's kind of like the perfect consistency like if you were to put it here it would drop a bit but it wouldn't just continuously drop I really want to get this blood all in there because this is what is going to make this look popping. And then what you want to do is you want to start smudging the blood now up the horns. Do some stray random swipes. See, I think that's enough on the horns for me. So now I want to start to add the blood to the outer edge so we are gonna pass it all over our tissue paper skin and I mean we're not gonna go crazy on our fake skin but we just want enough blood so that it looks realistic yeah this is the type of look I just love I'm gonna add some blood around here so those patches of irritation that we added earlier, let's get blooding them all. Now if you wanna take it that step further, you can add like a clump of blood. So we've added a bigger drop here, a bigger drop here, maybe another bigger drop on this one. So to get the bigger drops, I'm just like twirling my brush. And again, don't be scared to take your finger and spread some of that blood about. And finally, this finished look right here is for those of you who want to add that extra gory finish to your makeup look. This is my take on a gory inspired devil where the horns are popping from your head there's blood it's gory they are quite literally coming out of my skin like i love this because the face makeup it's still nice it's still flawless it's still glam and then we just have this gory added extra on the top i am obsessed Thank you guys so much for watching i do hope that you did enjoy this video if you did please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up it helps me out a hell of a lot if you did like this video and you want to see more by me don't forget to subscribe join my little fam you can hit the subscribe button in the shape of a heart over here you can hit the one below or you can hit the one in the form of my big face at the end of this video i hope that you guys did enjoy this my first take on halloween and yeah let me know if you like this type of video do you like the pretty and the poisonous or do you think that we should just stick to one what should we do next year we're going with it this year let me know your thoughts as well do you prefer the pretty version or the poisonous what type of a person are you for halloween do you like to keep it nice and glam or do you like to add that splash of gourd in there i want to know because i've been both i'm not just one I like the pretty. Now I like a little bit of the gory, but I'm still a bit, I'm in between. So let me know what type of person that you are for Halloween. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.